Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Evening Devotion. Would you guys please join me in a quick prayer before we start? Lord, we come before you this evening. We glorify you, praise you, to say amen to your will, to what you're doing, to your plan, to the actions and the works that your hand is doing in the world today. We see what's happening around the world, Lord. We see what's happening in our own homes, in our own neighborhoods. We see what's happening to your people, Israel, and this prayer for before the devotion is about them. Lord, watch over your people. Keep them safe. Bring them to peace. Protect them. Bring them into salvation. Bring them into the place where they can worship you with their whole hearts. May you have mercy on us all. May you have mercy on your church. May you have mercy on your people. Protect them and watch over them. Only you know the best way to deal with the situations that are happening right now. Only you know the right way. Who's yours? What heart will accept your gift? Only you know, Lord. So we ask that your will be done concerning this and everything else. And in your glorious name, we pray. Amen. Guys, thank you for joining me. Or thank you for joining me. I'm already getting out ahead of myself. Thank you for joining me for that prayer. Um... A lot of rockets being exchanged right now concerning Israel. It's pretty bad. However, an invasion of Gaza was stopped. Uh, so that's good. Um, it's only going to progress from here. It's only going to get worse. But the Lord is in control. He's got it under control. It's going to go exactly the way he says it's going to go. That brings us to Psalm 61.2. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher and I. And I dedicate this to all of us, but I dedicate this to the Jewish people. From the end of the earth, I will cry unto you. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. So let's start at the beginning of the psalm. We're going to read the whole psalm. It's a short one. Lead me to the rock. Who's the rock? Jesus Christ. The chief musician on a stringed instrument. A psalm of David. Hear my cry, O God. Attend to my prayer. From the end of the earth, I will cry to you. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For you have been a shelter for me, a strong tower from the enemy. I will abide in your tabernacle forever. I will trust in the shelter of your wings, Selah. For you, O God, have heard my vows. You have given me the heritage of those who fear your name. You will prolong the king's life, his years as many generations. He shall abide before God forever. O oh, prepare mercy and truth, which may preserve him. So I will sing praise to your name forever, that I may daily perform, daily perform my vows. So this is dedicated to us, but it's dedicated to the Jewish people right now. They, uh, they're, they're in a rough go right now. It's all out fighting. Most of us know what it is to be overwhelmed in heart. I think. Any of us here can agree to that. Emptied as when a man wipeth a dish and turneth it upside down, submerged and thrown on our beam ends like a vessel mastered by the storm. Discoveries of inward corruption will do this. If the Lord permits the great deep of our depravity to become troubled and cast up mire and dirt, disappointments and heartbreaks will do this when billow after billow rolls over us and we are like a broken shell hurled to and fro by the surf. Blessed be God. At such seasons, we are not without an all-sufficient solace. Our God is the harbor of weather-beaten sails, the hospice of forlorn pilgrims. Higher than we are is he. His mercy higher than our sins. His love higher than our thoughts. It is pitiful to see men putting their trust in something lower than themselves, but our confidence is fixed upon an exceeding high and glorious Lord. A rock he is, since he changes not, and a high rock, because the tempests which overwhelm us roll far beneath at his feet. He is not disturbed by them, but rules them at his will. If we get under the shelter of this lofty rock, we may defy the hurricane. All is calm under the lee of that towering cliff. Alas, such is the confusion in which the troubled mind is often cast, that we need piloting to this divine shelter. Hence the prayer of the text. O Lord, our God, by the Holy Spirit, teach us the way of faith. Lead us into thy rest. 
The wind blows us out to sea. The helm answers not to our puny hand, though thou alone, or thou, thou alone, canst steer us over the bar between yon sunken rocks, safe into the fair haven. How dependent we are upon thee. We need thee to bring us to thee, to be wisely directed and steered into safety and peace is thy gift, and thine alone. This night, be pleased to deal well with thy servants. Lord, we ask this. Deal well with us. Have mercy on us, on your church, on your people, the Jewish, the Jewish people, on the whole house of faith. We know not everybody's of the house of faith in these two groups, but Lord, we ask for mercy. We ask for forgiveness. We ask for blessings. We ask for peace that defies all understanding and joy inexpressible. It's easy to look at the world today and become overwhelmed. It's easy to, to just look around ourselves and become overwhelmed. It's easy to look inward and become overwhelmed. Lord, settle our hearts in faith and in truth. Settle our hearts on your word, on your promises, on your declarations. Make us to stand strong on that rock of ages, on the rock of faith, and be anchored to it, immovable, under any and all circumstances. For your glory and to the glory of your holy name. May you be honored and glorified in your people, in their lives they live, and in their responses to these events we see going on today at any time in life. Come into your kingdom, Lord. Come into your kingdom and be worshipped by those that love you. You're worthy, more than worthy, of this and so much more. Thank you, Lord, for your wonderful blessings. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for this adoption that you have bestowed upon us to, to become the sons of God, this right to become the sons of God, this free gift of salvation, which none of us deserve. Thank you, Lord. In your name we pray. Amen. Guys, thank you for joining me for evening devotion. Whether it's overseas, where it technically doesn't affect us, or it's in our own neighborhoods, or even in our own homes. Troubles are going to surround us. Issues are going to come up. Even within ourselves, we're going to run into issues. Don't let those bring you down and cause you to walk away, but instead, stand strong in them. Stand strong in what you know to be true. Know that you belong to him and that you're saved by him and that nothing that happens on this earth this earth is going to do anything to us to stop us from going to him on the contrary anything they try to do to us just speeds the process up and sends us to him that much quicker don't let what you see or what you hear whether it's within your own meditations or whether it's what's going on around the world cause you to stumble and fall cause you to doubt and fear and question but instead walk in faith walk in truth trusting and putting all of your hope in him the one jesus christ who is our lord and savior and who will deliver all of his people at the perfect time under the perfect circumstances and for the most perfect reasons we have those promises to look forward to. The Jews have the promises of being God's covenant people, and he will restore them. Let's all stay prayerful about this, and let's all stay focused on the goal. The goal is to walk faithfully, to watch for the Lord until he comes, and to be found eagerly expecting him, doing what we've been given to do by him, whatever that may be in this life, when he comes. I love you all very much. I bless you all in Jesus' name, and I'll see you in the next video.